just for you, the doyen of baking, Mary Berry, is going to make lemon drizzle cake. Take it away, lovely. Right, Maureen, here we go. Um, for a lemon drizzle cake, uh, this makes quite a big one, and you do it as a tray bake or in your roasting tin. Um, so here are the ingredients. Um, I've got uh, the eggs here, four eggs, um, grated rind of two lemons, uh, some baking powder, uh, milk, butter, and that is soft at room temperature, if not in the microwave, just to make it soft. Sugar and self-raising flour. Okay. Straight into the what bowl. What did you say? Cooking into a treboic? Tray bake. Or a tray bake. Look, this, my dear. This is a tray there. bake. That okay. is your roasting tin, uh, about 12 by 9. Okay. And I've lined it with non-stick paper, just pushing into the sides. So now, Mary, Maureen, you need all this. 12 by 9, lined. Butter has to be soft. Is there a trick in the kind of eggs that you're using? No, we're just using large eggs. But are they hot or cold or just fresh? No, but it's quite important, isn't it? Isn't it? If they come straight out of the fridge. That, that is not the most important thing at all. It doesn't matter if they do come straight out of the fridge. Much more important that they're nice, fresh eggs. Okay. And I'm not too fussy. I'm fussy about certain things. I'm going to be talking about baking powder in a minute, and that is important. Okay. You notice I'm not a chef, and I don't do this with one hand. Because if I do it in one hand, usually it goes all down the side of the bowl. <laughs> so we've got four <laughs> eggs in there. Okay. Do you compost your eggshells? I do, and I crunch them up. I was told not to because it encourages rats. We've stopped doing it for years, but can I put it back on again? Yes. Good, I will. You said so. Certain other things not to. Now, we've got the eggs in here. Let's yeah. put the other ingredients in. Let's put the flour in next. And you're saying it's ordinary self-raising flour. Yeah. But because it's the all-in-one method, I'm adding two teaspoons of baking powder. And that is two level teaspoons. If you put too much in, it rises up and drops down again in baking. Then the grated rind of, five, uh, of two lemons going in so there. So presumably you used unwaxed, do you? That's right. Can you, you, can, can you just scrub the lemons under the tap? If with, you... with warm, uh, yeah. uh, uh, with hot water. In goes the sugar. What sugar? Caster sugar. Does that make a difference if you don't use caster sugar? You'll get little flecks of sugar on the top of the cake. Right. Um, I'm just trying to clarify this for Maureen so that she doesn't get anything wrong. But Maureen, the most important thing for Maureen is to weigh the ingredients correctly. All in here and give it a whiz. Okay? Go on, off you go. I haven't put the milk in. Come on, yes, you're well, supposed to be keeping me alert. Go on. Oh, I'll dip it in. Okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And just enough mixing till it's all together. Is the butter salted or unsalted? Uh, it's not too fussy. Ideally unsalted, but I bet this was salted. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. The weighing is the most important. That's exactly right. Okay. So it's a then tiny we, zhuzh. That was lucky. They came out. Give that a bang on the side. You could do this by hand with a wooden spoon. You could do it in a processor, but only just until it's processed. And so how would you describe the consistency? Um, it, go on, you're just like the children, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, How exactly. can you have a bowl Excuse of cake mix me. and not yeah. stick your finger in it? That's the thing. Oh, mm. Mayor, Maureen, it's got to taste like this. Yeah, it does. It just tastes like raw just like cake that. mixture. Lovely. But it's the best taste in the world, mm. isn't it? <laughs> raw cake mix. But, but it's, it's lemon. measuring the ingredients <laughs> is the most important thing. And if you do use um, my, make sure if you don't want to use butter and you use margarine, that you use margarine and not a spread because they've got water in. So I'm just... Ah, oh, that's very, very important. So, but how would you describe the consistency? Soft dropping, I think. Soft dropping. That's what they're... Soft dropping. Off the end. And then you just level that off. Do you like to move the bowl? Yeah, I would now. love to. May I? Thank you. I bet level some of the audience that. would like to leave. No, they wouldn't no, put it away. Well, would yes, they would, they shall <laughs> Okay. Go on. So that's level, and then that wants to go in the oven at about 160. Where in the oven? Center. And if you've got a fan oven a bit lower than that. What do you mean, a bit lower in the oven? No, a bit lower temperature. Okay. About 25 degrees lower. Okay. And then uh, it will take about 30 to 35 minutes. Now, are you of the, um, I don't know what the word is because I'm Ooh. having a senior moment, but are you, of, are you one of them here, women of the board. that mm. thinks that you have to keep the oven always closed? Um, you Does could, it matter? You mustn't you... open it 
too soon. You can look after about 20 minutes and you may have to turn it round because it might cook more at the back. Many ovens do. Can I have a spoon from over you there? Can but you shouldn't whack the oven door shut. No, also, it that psh, pushes all the hot air out. I think, Maureen, if we haven't covered what you're doing wrong, there's some, you're really doing something wrong, like you're using boots instead of lemons. That's all I can think it's of. It's weighing the ingredients correctly <laughs> is the most important. Weighing. It's a scientific thing. Come on, right, in goes go. the um, sugar and then the juice of two lemons. And those lemons, to get the maximum juice, Make them warm before you Let's squeeze them. Here. Yeah, I got it. Put this over the top. Let's just go whoom, like that. Now, Mike asked you that you don't make holes in the cake. Why? We only two if it's warm. What, what, it'll just suck all the lemon juice That's down right. into it. Ladies and gentlemen, over. while this woman is spreading over her lemon drizzly bit, there's one that she made earlier. Don't worry about cutting it. We want to get this picture on the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, go for the drizzle. Blend the cake ingredients in a large bowl and turn into a greased and lined baking tin. Level the top with a spatula, bake at 160 degrees Celsius, 35 to 40 minutes. Allow it to cool, then lift the cake out of the tin and remove the paper. To make the crunchy topping, mix the lemon juice and granulated sugar and spoon over the cake whilst it's still warm. Cut into squares when it's cold and serve.